This is the last section in Chapter 3, Section 3.5, Inequalities Involving Quadratic Functions. Graphing Nonlinear Inequalities First, graph the related equation. If the inequality symbol is greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to, draw the graph as a solid curve. If the inequality symbols are less than or greater than, draw a dashed curve. Graph divides the coordinate plane into at least two regions. Test an ordered pair from each region by substituting it into the inequality. If the ordered pair satisfies the inequality, then shade the region containing that ordered pair. Graph y is greater than x squared plus 3x minus 4. The first thing we want to do is plot the points for the equation, but we are not going to draw the line yet. Step 2. Draw a solid or dotted line. Since it is greater than, we're simply going to draw a dotted line. Test an ordered pair from each region. So the first region I'm going to test this ordered pair 0, 0. And when I do that, I notice that it is true. Just to show you that 4, 0, which is right here, outside of region 1, we get it to be false. That means I'm going to shade the region that has 0, 0. And so now we're going to shade the true side. Graph y is less than or equal to 2x squared minus 3x plus 1. First, plot the points for the equation, but do not draw the line. Draw a solid or dotted line. When we look here, since it is less than or equal to, it's going to be a solid line. Test an ordered pair from each rin. Region 1, 0, 5, so 0, 5, so here's 0, 5, and it turns out to be false. Region 2 is the outside region here. We're going to do 0, negative 3, and that turns out to be true. So now we're going to shade the true side. I want you to try this one. y is less than 3 times x minus 2 squared plus 1. When you are ready, press play and it'll show you the answer. And here is the answer. Let's graph this on a calculator. Anytime we have less than or less than or equal to, we're going to have this box to the left of y equals and we find that by simply hitting enter, enter, enter until you get there and then here's our equation. I did change my window, as you can see, so we can see the picture better. And here is the picture of our answer. Watch as I put this in my calculator. To find the x-intercept,
Graph on the calculator y is greater than x squared minus x minus 12. This time, when we have greater than or greater than or equal to, we want the symbol that looks like this. As you see, I have it right here. And then for y1, I simply put the equation in here. You'll notice that it will not come up with a dotted or solid line. You need to know that yourself. But it's really easy, right? This would be a dotted line, and this would be a solid line. Once again, I did change my window, and here's the picture. Watch as I put this into the calculator. If f of x equals the square root of 3 minus x and g of x equals x squared, solve for f of x is greater than or equal to g of x. So the first thing I did was put f of x and g of x in. Here's my f of x is greater than or equal to g of x. I then separated them. Greater than or equal to y. y is greater than or equal to x squared. Next, I put them into my calculator. So here's my y is less than or equal to the square root of 3 minus x. Here is y is greater than or equal to x squared. And this is the window that I chose. You can choose any window you like as long as you can see the entire picture. And here's my picture. To figure out the domain, we want the intersecting points. When I did that, here's my first intersecting point when x is negative 1.45 and the second intersecting point when x equals 1.16. The domain is x such that negative 1.45 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 1.64. The reason that we have this equal sign here is because the original was also equal. So it can be negative 1.45 and 1.64. Watch as I put this into the calculator. Our solution is where the two shades intersect. That's the end of this lecture. You're ready for 3.5 homework.